Hey everyone, it's me, Megan. And I'm Jessie. Oh, whoa. Hey, did you feel that? What was that? Oh, I, I think it may have been a raindrop. Do you feel raindrops? Hmm, what do we need when it rains? Do you know? Yeah. An umbrella is a great idea. I wish we had one. Actually, I do. An umbrella will keep us dry from the rain. What are some other things you might need when it rains? Ooh, yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Ooh, good ideas. A raincoat. Boots, and maybe a, a boat. <laughs> well, you might need a boat if it rains and rains for many, many days. Jesse, do you know what Bible story we are going to hear about today? I think so. Do you know? It's a story about a man named Noah. God told him to build a boat called an ark because it was going to rain and rain. The whole earth would flood. Why would God send so much rain? Well, that's a great question, Jesse. After Adam and Eve had a family and their children had families, people kept disobeying God. Remember, when we disobey God's commands, that's called sin. The Bible tells us that God is right to punish sin. Listen closely to hear how God rescued Noah and his family from the great flood. Adam and Eve had children and grandchildren. Their families grew until there were many people in the world. Every one of them did just what Adam and Eve had done. They sinned against God. They chose to disobey God's commands. Sometimes they did mean things and sometimes they thought bad thoughts. God was very sad. He was sorry he had made all these sinful people. God decided to send a big flood to clean up the world. Only one man in the world tried to do what was right. His name was Noah. One day God told Noah to build an ark, a huge boat. God told Noah about his plan to send a flood. The ark would keep Noah's family and two or more of every kind of bird and animal that lived on the earth safe from the flood. Noah did exactly what God told him to do. He began to build the ark. He worked for many years until the ark was finally finished. Noah filled the ark with food for his family and the animals. Noah, his family, and the animals went into the ark and waited. Then God closed the door. The rain began. Rain fell for 40 days and 40 nights until water covered even the highest mountains. Then the rain stopped. God sent a wind to dry out the earth. Noah and his family waited. Finally, the water went down and the ark landed on top of a mountain. God told Noah to bring his family and all the animals out of the ark. Noah gave an offering to thank God. God had saved Noah, his family, and the animals from the flood. God told Noah's family to spread out and live in different places, have children, and take care of the world. God promised Noah that he would never again send a flood over the whole world. He put a rainbow in the clouds as a reminder of the promise. God is serious about sin. He will not leave sin unpunished, but God is loving. He rescued Noah and his family. God had a plan for an even greater rescue through his son, Jesus. When we trust in Jesus, we are saved from the punishment our sin deserves.